Hey, welcome to Worship Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to play the song As You Find Me from Hillsong United's People album on acoustic guitar. If you want to see uh, my acoustic playthrough of this, you can just kind of see it all in one take with chords that follow what I do. A link for that will be below. Uh, you can also uh, hit that link below and go where you can where you can get the chord charts for free. You can get them from uh, Worship Together. So the first thing to know uh, before we get started is my guitar is tuned down one half step. I am going to show you the chords to use that will, in the key of D, which is the same key that it's recorded uh, on the album, but I find it personally a little high to sing, you might as well. So a couple things you can do about that, you can tune your guitar down one half step, which I like to do. Uh, it also makes your guitar sound better, in my opinion, tuning down a half step. Um, the other thing you can do is transpose it to a different key. For example, you could just do this in the key of C, and it would be lower. Uh, technically, I'm doing it in D flat because I'm down one half step. Just wanted to let you know that is what's happening, so if you're trying to play along with me and it doesn't sound the same, that's why. I'm just gonna treat it like it's standard tuning. So, key of D, using key of D shapes, and these are the chords you're gonna know. There's like three variations of the D chord that they use in this song. Uh, so the first one's just regular D major. Okay. Then there is what you would call a D suspended fourth. So all you do for that, or a D, you might just know it as a D sus. Just put your pinky down on the high E string on the third fret. If you ever learned free fallen uh, in the key of D, you do this. We're gonna use all those variations. So you got the D suspended fourth. You've got what I, uh, you could think of as a D5 or a D power chord to play that. So one way you could play it is, is right here. So that's the D power chord, but you can voice it like this as well. Uh, put, take your pinky, it's on the third fret, and stretch it up to the fifth fret. So now you're playing same notes. That's a D5 or a D power chord. So you go here, so you got D, D suspended four, D5, and then a D suspended second as well. All you do for that is let the high E string ring out. Okay, so those are different variations or voicings of the D chord. One easy thing you can do if you don't want to do that stuff is just play D. Either this one or this one. But that's kind of going to follow, actually it follows that synth thing in the beginning, which I think is kind of fun to do on acoustic guitar. Okay, so you've got D and all those variations of D, you've got G, often I will leave my index finger off and mute that A string with my second finger. Okay, you've got B minor 7, which looks like this. And there's an A suspended in there as well. There's actually one more chord in here. It's a, a it's a D over F sharp. And so to play that, you just play in your D or your D suspended two or D two, and then wrap your thumb around. That's how I like to play it. Grab the low E string on the second fret. That is an F sharp. It's just an inversion. Okay. You use that a bit in the um, in the bridge of the song. Okay, so those are our chords for this song. Now the strumming pattern is where this can get a little bit complicated, and uh, if you're a beginner, you might struggle with this because um, the way I like to play it and kind of what feels right for playing on the album to me is you do a lot of up strums. So this is what I mean. So I'll play the intro and then I'll show you sort of the strumming pattern that goes with that. Okay, so you see it's got that up pattern, um, or that up strum that kind of leads into the next uh, note, and that's actually right before you hit the one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you kind
kind of can do that in the verses as well. So I've been strong, I've been broken within a moment, been faithful and I've been reckless at everything. If you don't want to do that, you can simplify it a little bit. Okay, so that'll get you through the verses. Now, when you get to the pre-chorus, I was found, or I was lost. Okay, I do this. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, one, two. Three, four. Okay, so those sort of three patterns will get you all the way through the song. Now, in some places, you'll want to strum a lot less. So, like, if you're really wanting to keep this mellow, like in the first verse, for example, and I've been broken within. You don't want to strum much. And then in bigger parts of the song, you'll strum a lot more. When you get to the chorus, uh, it really drops down. You might just want to strum one. I know I don't deserve this kind of love. Okay, so that's kind of how you can go about strumming the song. So let's talk about how you play the different parts. So the intro, uh, you can, if you want to really simplify it, just play a D. Okay, but if you want to play a part that follows that synth line, you can play D to D suspended 4, D5, D2, or D suspended 2. D suspended 4, 5, suspended 2. And that goes all the way through both of like the first verse is like a double verse. So I'll play the intro one time through and the first verse and show you how this all fits together. two verses, the next half of it really, is the same thing. Now when you get to the pre-chorus, uh, I was found before I was lost, which is a great lyric, uh, it goes like this. I was G found before I was lost B minor 7 or B minor. I was yours D before I was not A suspended. Grace to spare G for all my mistakes B minor. D minor 7, that part just D Rex to that A suspended me. So let's just go into the chorus. These parts all just kind of flow together. And G, I, D, no, A suspended, I. I don't, B minor 7, deserve, goes to A, this kind of love. G, sum, D, how, A suspended. This kind of B minor 7, love is who, it's an A, U, G, R. It's a D grace, I could never A suspended, add up to B some B minor, to A, to G, somebody you still want. But see, somehow D, A, <laughs> You're lo you love me as you find me. And then the turnaround goes B to G, or B minor 7 to G. Minor seven, G, D. Okay, so the pre-chorus is really easy. The chorus seems complicated, but it's really not. It's just the same pattern over and over. It's G, D, A, B minor seven, A, G, D, A, D minor, A, G, D, A. 
One other note about the verse is the line before you go to the chorus, you just, uh, like every time I turn around, you go D to D suspended 4, just back to D. Lord, you are still there. Okay, so the last line of the verse into the pre-chorus, chorus, turn around goes like this. Every time I turn around, Lord, you are still there. Back to the D. Okay, pre-chorus. about these sections. First, how to sing them. So uh, when you get to that pre-chorus, there's some falsetto involved if you want to play it that way. And uh, taking it from a guy who never uses falsetto, which would be me, I rarely ever do because I don't, I don't like the way it sounds too much. Uh, mostly because I've just not really practiced it very much. But um, really the way to, to do falsetto well, in my opinion, is you have you think that it, because it's so much softer sounding, that you don't need as much air to support it, but you really do. You need to support falsetto with as much air as you would chest voice, you just sing it differently. Okay, and so you hit those falsetto parts and... I was found before I was lost. So you need air, even though you're not pushing a lot of air, you need it to support it. Otherwise, you're not gonna hit the note. Time was yours. So lost and not or falsetto. And then if you want to do it like the album, I think it's a really cool artistic choice to make. Go chest voice for the other two. Um, uh, mistakes and wrecks. Uh, grace to spare for all my mistakes. But you gotta, see I'm not very warmed up too. So you gotta warm up well, support that with a lot of air. This is also why I choose to do this song down a half step because it's hard to sing that in uh, D standard tuning, okay? And then that part just wrecks, that's another chest voice uh, word that you could go with there. And then when you get to, uh, it's really hard to do because you're going, wrecks me and I. See, it's, I, even I, I'm really struggling to get it, so you just need to practice. So practice going from, that part just wrecks me and I. No. I was way sharp on that. So if you practice it and practice it, you'll get it. Like when I did the acoustic video, it took me a few takes to really get warmed up and get, it's all about muscle memory too. You just have to familiarize yourself and all these muscles here and, and here that have to do with the pitch and the way that you sing. You have to just sort of memorize how you're gonna go from here to down to here. Um, and hit it because hitting it is important. Singing these these things on pitch is important. But it's kind of re it's really interesting when you hear it. It sounds very beautiful, very artistic. It's kind of hard to execute. So just practice that. Okay. The other th note about this section is in the turnaround. Um, there's an electric guitar line that you can kind of mimic on acoustic. And it goes so it goes like that. And when you're playing acoustic guitar, you're, it's over these B minor, this B minor, so it's here. And then you can just kind of, so you're playing this, so you can just kind of lift off that, but you're going to have to fret that string on the second fret. This is on the B string. And then you go to the G, and it's conveniently open. And then you go to the D, and then you can just put your pinky up here on the D string, 
fourth fret. And that's kind of how you can mimic that on guitar. So again, it goes like this. So that's a little something you can throw in there if you'd like to. Okay, after the uh, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, turnaround, you get to the second verse, and it's a little different than the first. So the second verse is gonna go, uh, the first line is just like the first one. Who am I to think your glory needs my praises? Okay, that's that D, D suspended four, D five, D suspended two. But if this B minor borrowed breath is G, yours, Lord, take it all D. You are B minor faithful, you are G gracious, and I'm just D grateful. Same thing. Think you don't B minor need a single G thing, still you want my D heart. So when you sing it, it goes like this. Who am I to think your glory needs my praise? It's yours, Lord, take it all. You are faithful and you are gracious. I'm just grateful. You don't need a single thing until you want my heart. Now we're going to the pre chorus. I was lost before I. I said lost before I was lost. I was found before I was lost. See, I'm warming up more, and so it's easier to hit that falsetto, but again, you gotta support it with breath uh, like you would full chest. You just sing it soft. After that, you do pre-chorus, chorus again. So after the second chorus, there's a tag, you love me as you find me, uh, but it's really the same thing as the turnaround. You just play it a few more times and you're singing on top of it. If you want. Love me as you find me. You sing it down there. If you want to jump an octave to get yourself ready for the bridge section, you can. You love me as you find me. Okay, and then there's really two bridges in this song, and it's almost kind of a call and response thing how they do it on the album. The first one uses a chord progression similar to the turnaround B minor, G, it's B minor 7, G. D over F sharp, A, or A suspended. B minor 7, you just repeat it, G, D over F sharp, A. And it goes like this. Your love's too good to leave me here. Your love's too good to leave me here. The next sort of bridge section, it's actually just the same chords over and over. B minor, B minor 7, G, D over F sharp, A. And it goes like this, B minor if you want, G my heart, D over F sharp, I want a second guess, B minor, cause I need G, your love, D over F sharp, more than A, anything. Now it changes a little bit, G, I'm in, D over F sharp, I'm yours, B minor, your love's too A, good to leave me here, G, D over F sharp, B minor, your love's too A, good to leave me here, okay? And then you can go into uh, wherever you want to go next, like they go back into a chorus, if you want to do that, you can, but that's how it goes. So I'm just going to play both of the bridge parts, show you how they fit together. So this is kind of coming out of the, actually let's just do the, the tag and the bridges all together, all in one take. Somehow you love me as you find me. This is the tag section. You love me as you find me. If you want to jump an octave, you can. You love me as you find me. the bridge. Your love's too good to leave me here. Your love's too good to leave me here. Second bridge. If you want my heart, I won't second guess. Cause I need 
whatever you want from there. But that's sort of all the different pieces of as you find me. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do that as well. Hit that bell icon and that will notify you when we do new uploads, which is often here at Worship Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.